Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Claudia. Thank you so much for watching today. Today I want to talk about the new social media app that has entered the fold, and that is of course Be Real. I've been testing out the app and seeing what it's all about recently, so I figured I'd make a video talking about it because I wasn't really sure about it at first. <laughs> I'll be talking about what it is, showing you how it works, and I'll have timestamps in the description box if you wanna skip to a specific portion of this video. Let's start with exactly what Be Real is and how it's different from all the other social media apps that we have. The main point of Be Real is to get users to post completely unfiltered photos of themselves and their lives. There's no ability to add filters and you can only post one photo a day. So it's really meant to target something a lot of other social media apps are lacking these days, and that's authenticity. Oftentimes, if we want to post something, it'll be after we put on makeup and a cute outfit. And Be Real is supposed to capture your life in the moment, no matter what moment that is. So now that we know what the purpose of Be Real is, let's talk about how you get it set up, and then I'll talk about how it actually works because I was a little confused about it at first. Be Real will send you a notification once per day, telling you you have two minutes to post a photo to your feed. They do it at all different times every day, so you can't plan to look cute at 10 a.m. because that's when it tells you to post because you never know what time it's gonna notify you at. You also won't have time to go put on a full face of makeup or shower once you get the notification because you only have two minutes to post once the notification pops up. You can delete your Be Real once a day if it ended up blurry or something happened during capture, but you can only do this once per day. And you may be thinking, what if I'm not near my phone or I'm in a meeting? You are able to post late, but Be Real will tell your followers that you posted late. So as you can see here, this is my sister, and she posted a Be Real today, but it shows that it was two hours late being posted. Let's talk about the Be Real feed next. You're only able to see your friends' Be Real photos once you've posted your own for that day. So if you wanna participate in this app and see what other people are doing, you have to actively participate as well. You can't just sit around and scroll for five hours if you haven't posted your own photo. As you can see, if you try to open it up, it will tell you to post your photo to see what other people are doing. There's a My Friends feed and a Discovery feed. And My Friends is obviously people you're friends with on the app. And the Discovery feed is kind of like Instagram or TikTok where you could see anyone's pictures. If that makes you feel weird that other people could see your photos, I'll show you in the next step how you can make your Be Real photos available to friends only. On your feed, you're able to comment on posts or react with real emojis, which are literal, just your own facial reactions. So if I wanted to comment a real emoji on my sister's picture, I would click the smiley face and follow the instructions to send a real emoji of my own. You can also go to your profile and see what days you posted Be Reels and what you posted, but these memories are only visible to you. Okay, now let's talk about posting your Be Reel. So you get the notification, you have two minutes to capture your Be Reel, what do you do? So click the notification to open up your app, snap your picture, but it's also gonna take a picture of you too. So again, the whole point of the app is authenticity. Once you take the picture, you can click here to decide if you wanna share it with your friends or with everyone, and then you can add your caption by clicking add caption. It's honestly a pretty simple concept. It's kind of like Snapchat and Instagram had a baby if you're familiar with how those apps work, but it's a really fun idea. I think social media obviously has become exceptionally fake, so it's nice to have an app that doesn't allow so many filters or opportunities for editing. That's all for today. Let me know in the comments if you have a Be Real, if you enjoy it, if you're thinking about getting one. If you have any questions about how it works, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to answer any questions or make a follow-up video if there's more about the app that you want me to cover. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.